Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. I, I, I named it bruschetta, but I don't know, it, please don't hate me if that's not a bruschetta. I just, I've had bruschetta before, a long time ago. I just remember it was a piece of bread with tomatoes and basil, so it's kind of like that. Okay, so, I've got basil out there, I'm going to pluck off the, the plants, and we'll go from there. You guys ready? Let's go, let's make some bruschetta. Chin chin. Okay, right, so we're going to start with the uh fryer rack it's um it's from um it's for a can cooker to cook on the grill but it works perfectly in the uh delonghi so i have a link in the description if you're interested in that we're gonna melt some butter so i've got an oven proof anchor hawking dish here you can use any, anything you want as long as it's oven proof you don't want to put anything plastic in there that's a half a stick of butter and we're gonna melt the butter first so bottom top Let's put the top at three and let's melt that. All right, that took about two minutes. She's all melted. I've got a teaspoon of Italian seasoning in there. Mix that up. Okay, so I'm gonna wait till it cools a little bit. I'm gonna take it out of there. There's my butter and I've got some uh, baguettes that I sliced up in, what is that, half an inch? thick so take your butter and just dip one side of it and then put it on your racks so let me do the rest of them and I'll be right back that's the fun part I've got some tomatoes it's just a regular beefy tomato and I've sliced them up not too thick just about half an inch like this and cut them in half so put a slice on your bread, like so. Okay, let me do that, I'll finish. Okie dokie, salt and pepper. I'm gonna keep you around for that because I know people are interested in this part. <laughs> I'm in a weird angle, it's not hard, it's just, you know. Okay, okay. Now, we've got some basil leaves. And just take some fresh basil leaves and put one on each tomato. Can you guys see that? All right, so let me do that, we'll be back. Isn't that pretty? All right, here I've got some mozzarella with prosciutto and it, it came into a block, so I sliced them up about the same thickness as the tomatoes with prosciutto. Did I mention that? Okay. So just layer that on top of everything. So let me finish that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now, we are not trying to cook the crud out of this. <laughs> so I'm going to put the bottom on because it's not sitting on, directly on the bottom. It's on that rack. So we want to toast the bottom and the top, but we don't want to melt the cheese, go crazy. So put your bottom on <laughs> and the top one, we'll put it at one. All right, so I'll tell you how long it takes. We'll be back. Hey, that was probably six minutes. Look at that. The cheese is melted. That's what we're aiming for. And we've got toasted bread, so we're going to let that cool. Plate it and taste it. I know it tastes good. We'll be back. Okay. I know how they taste. I made this for a movie day the other day. I got a couple girls over here. But I made them in the oven. So if you don't have an air fryer, you should get one, first of all. And uh, if you don't, well, do them in the oven. 350 for about 10 minutes. Till the cheese is all melted in goodness. Yeah. Here we go. Mmm. Give them a bite. It's so freaking good. That basil in there. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go, guys. Bruschetta, bruschetta, whatever you want to call it. It's friggin' good. All right. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.